In this one, I'll be running through a basic fast boot, which is used to load a few different ROMs on the 7 series. I've so far seen it used for Flamingo and Paranoid Android with minimal differences, but if I come across any others, I'll drop links and any notes in the description. And do feel free to let me know if you come across any others. Some prep for this one. You need to make sure your PC has ADB and Fastboot, ensuring you have a recent copy of Platform Tools. The guide will be listed in the description if you haven't done this yet. To be safe, you should start from Android 11, as many Android 12 ROMs need that firmware. And ensure USB debugging and OEM unlock are enabled in the developer options. Download the appropriate files and drop them into your Platform Tools folder. I'll have the download locations linked in the description. Flamingo uses a file ending in fastboot.zip, where Paranoid Android ends in .img.zip. With that out of the way, our first step is to unlock the bootloader. If you're already unlocked, feel free to jump to the next chapter. A reminder that this will clear all your data, so be sure you have backups and don't wipe out anything you miss. Connect your device via USB, open your ADB folder, then type cmd into the folder path to launch the command window. Then type adb reboot bootloader. This will reboot your device into fastboot mode. Then we want to type fastboot devices. It should come back with the device ID, confirming that it has a connection. If you get an error here, you need to double check your adb and fastboot setup. Then we type fastboot oem unlock. Complete the prompts on your phone. Once the restart has completed, the bootloader is now unlocked. As your device has been wiped, quickly run through the setup, then enable USB debugging to continue. Again, in your command window, jump back into fastboot with ADB reboot bootloader. Then we type fastboot update, then the file name making sure to include the .zip. It's easiest to copy the whole file name then right click to paste it in the command window. Or you can drag and drop the file into the window to link it. Now take a breather for a few minutes while that runs through. Now reboot back into recovery Form a factory reset. Then reboot into your wonderful new ROM. If your device didn't automatically go back into recovery before a factory reset, you can access it by either going back into fastboot, then selecting recovery via the device, or by powering off, then back on while pressing the power and volume down buttons together. And that's it for this one. While you're here, why not check out one of my other loading videos? Otherwise, until next time, enjoy and stay casual.